Hi, I'm Ginny and this is my low carb kitchen. Today I'm going to make a really great recipe for you. It's real simple. It's just easy. Um, it's an easy cracker mix or cereal mix. I use it for my cereal a lot and I also use it for crackers. And there's a lot of variations with what you can do with it. Um, to start out with, I have one cup of golden flax meal that I just ground in my coffee grinder. And to that, I'm going to add two cups of almond meal. And this is an almond meal that I got at Trader Joe's. Um, but I also make my own almond meal. And I have a video about how you can do that if you want to check that out on my blog. I'm going to add a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. And the Parmesan cheese kind of helps to make it crispy, it seems. Um, I've tried it without it and using whey protein and that did not turn out as good so it's really it really helps to use the Parmesan cheese. So I've got a half a cup of Parmesan cheese I'm going to add to that. Now I'm going to make this into a mix um, that I can use either for crackers or um, my cereal so I'm not going to sweeten the mix because I can add seasonings or sweeteners later depending on how I want to use it because after I have it all mixed together I'm going to keep it in one container and then when I want to use it I'm going to take just two tablespoons to scoop out and add water to and I'll show you how to do that and then I'm going to roll it out on parchment paper. <clears throat> so I've got my flax meal, my almond meal and my parmesan cheese in here and I'm going to mix it up really good and get out all the lumps of the Parmesan cheese. It seems to get kind of lumpy. So it's amazing how easy this is and how convenient it is. And um, this was posted by um, Kathy on the Bernstein Forum and I'm going to put a link to the original recipe. But I've just been so happy that I found this recipe because I can do so much with it. I even use it for my toast in the morning, so it's great. I'll show you. So, I need a little mixing bowl. <clears throat> so I'm going to take two tablespoons of my mix, and that's all I need. And I need, I'm going to sweeten this, because I'm going to make this one for cereal. So I'm going to add, uh, I think about a teaspoon of Splenda. So I got a teaspoon of Splenda in there, and I'm just going to add a couple dashes of salt. Now this is the tricky part. You're just going to want to add enough water, just drizzle it real quick. You don't want to hold it under there. I'm doing a video just. <laughs> and just enough to make a ball into a bowl. And if you add a little too much water, then it's not going to turn out really good. So if you added a little too much water, what I just did, then add a little bit more of the mix. And just stir it up until it turns into a ball. Doesn't matter. So easy to do. And, um, okay, I've got parchment paper here. So I'm going to take a piece of parchment paper. Just put it on the table. And I'm going to take a sheet like that. And then cut it into three strips. So I'm going to take one strip and spray it with parchment paper. I mean, I mean I'm going to spray it with nonstick spray. It's been a long day. And I'm tired. <laughs> so, here's my ball of dough. I'm going to get it all on there. 
So <coughs> then I'm going to take a piece of saran wrap. It doesn't have to be very big. I'm going to spray that with nonstick spray also. Put that on top of the parchment paper. Spread it out. And I kind of use my can here. Just roll it. Get it real nice and thin. The thinner you get, the crispier it's going to get. You know, and it and then that makes really nice cereal flakes. So mine, I forgot to put cinnamon in. Ooh, okay. You don't want to leave the cinnamon out because the cinnamon really makes it great. I just put a teaspoon of cinnamon in there. Okay. The next one will have cinnamon in it. This one's going in the microwave for one minute. And while that's cooking, I'm going to spray my next piece. And I'm going to quick make another one. And this time, I'm going to remember my cinnamon. One teaspoon. So good. Mm. I don't know if cinnamon really raises your, or lowers your blood sugar or not, but it sure tastes good and can't hurt. Okay, nice blender. Got a teaspoon of blender. Oops. I'm gonna add my water. Okay. We've got a pretty nice ball here, and it looks like the timer just went off on the microwave, so that was pretty good timing. It doesn't take you long to make this in the morning. It's pretty easy to make. I'm going to do the same thing. Just spread it out. Roll it a little bit. It doesn't matter how even you get it, just so it's rolled out nice and thin. And peel off that. And it looks like that. And here's what the finished one looks like. And it's nice and crispy. One minute. And this is going to get broke up into little pieces into a cereal bowl. And when I'm done, Here's what it looks like. You can see that. It looks like cereal flakes. You can um, pour some nice coconut milk on it, or half and half, or cream, whatever you use. Sweeten it the way you like, and enjoy it. I usually eat mine with a bacon and cheese omelet in the morning, so that's my cereal. If you want to use it for crackers, do the same thing, just add some seasonings to it that you like. Skip the Splenda and add some salt and some garlic and onion powder and maybe some herbs. Whatever you like. It's really great. It's really versatile. I think you're going to like it. Thanks for watching me. Bye. <laughs> I forgot to tell you that since this is flax meal, and almond meal. It should be kept in the refrigerator or the freezer to store um, because flax meal and, and almond meal both can go rancid. So store it in your freezer, store it in your fridge. Thanks. Bye.